Hi, this is a brief presentation about biochar from the Global Carbon Advisors. We're at a turning point in our history. There are two paths we can choose. One path leads to self-interest and fragmentation. However, all the promises of our future point to an alternative path, namely, solve our energy problem. Currently, we have a carbon-based greenhouse gas global issue. The planet is warming. Global population is exploding. Soil erosion is happening and is accelerating. Global Carbon Advisors is a company that has a solution that complements the thrust for renewable energy, namely sustainable carbon management through the global use of biochar, also known as terra preta, meaning black earth. So how does biochar help? Biochar fixes carbon as a soil nutrient and so removes carbon from the atmosphere, which is a contributing gas to global warming. Well, what is biochar and how does it work? Biochar is highly porous, chemically stable, carbon-based soil addition that retains water, nutrients and microorganisms resulting in improved soil productivity through increased crop yields and reduced chemical runoff from fertilizers. In essence, then, biochar sustainably increases crop yields and removes historical carbon dioxide emissions. Is biochar a non-organic fertilizer? Biochar is not a fertilizer. It's a stable form of carbon and a permanent soil amendment. So how does biochar become an efficient soil amendment? Biochar acts like a moisture and nutrient sponge situated in the soil. It is like a soil battery for nitrogen, water, microorganisms and minerals and works best when mixed with vermiculture or composting pile. So how do I use the biochar? Including biochar as mentioned previously in composting materials has been shown to increase crop yields and increase applied nutrient use efficiency, meaning you can apply less fertilizer, get the same organic response, whilst using less water. This saves you both money and fresh water usage. So is biochar organic? Yes, biochar is organic. It is National Organic Program compliant and is made from uncontaminated wood residues. So how much biochar would I need? If blending and compost, we suggest ranges between 20 to 25 percent by volume to your soil or compost mix, depending on its intended use. How does biochar remove carbon gases and by how much? For every pound of manufactured biochar, it removes three pounds of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, which is a global warming gas. When plants grow, it takes the carbon dioxide out of the air and uses it to grow the plants, i.e. it builds biomass. This carbon is then re-released into the air when the plant dies and rots or is buried to ash. But if it's made into biochar and added to soils, the carbon breaks down extremely slowly over thousands of years. So by making plant matter into biochar and putting it in the ground, you're not only enriching the soil, but also helping to remove or sequester carbon from the atmosphere. If we were to employ this practice globally, we would contribute to reducing global warming and enriching our soil essential for efficient food production. The threat of climate change is directly linked to the quantities of greenhouse gases we emit into the atmosphere. It is important that individuals as well as companies and governments make efforts to reduce their emissions as much as possible. In addition to taking these actions, offsetting can provide a way to reduce total or aggregate emissions by supporting projects which reduce emissions beyond levels which would normally occur. If you're a company or an individual and you want to know more about biochar, then contact Global Carbon Advisors at their website. Leave them a message and they will contact you at your convenience. But don't wait. Find out more how you can improve your life, your health, your soil, your planet and contribute to the managing our precious global resources. Looking forward to talking to you uh, on this very exciting product. Thanks again and goodbye.